Let's start lefties by checking in on trans activist and product ambassador Dylan Mulvaney. Mm. Mm. I'm just looking at my clock. I think it's been a little longer than 15 minutes, darling. And seeing that I'm slating things out two to three years from now that will come out in two to three years, I think it might be a little bit longer. Longest 15 minutes of your life. Love you. Um, okay, let's just move along at a rapid pace. Let's go to the BBC's Newsnight program and this powerful performance described as a feminist manifesto. Surely that's it. Please, no more. Please? <laughs> that's the uh, BBC, ladies and gentlemen, your taxes at work, Britain. Now, let's see if slavery-obsessed America knows anything about which countries banned slavery first. Black History Month is important to you? Yeah, for obvious reasons. Who were the first three countries to ban slavery? Girl, I don't know. First three countries? Ban slavery. Definitely was America. Uh, Brazil? I don't know. I don't... Uh, Asia? Asia is a continent. Guess what? America was among the first, among the first three. You'd think Americans would know that. But though the college kids are very much uh, indoctrinated about uh, systemic racism, they don't seem to know too many facts, including some very basic mathematics. What is 15 times 4? 15 times 4. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 20, 30, 30, 30. 23? 48, 48, 48. I'll say 48. I'll say 48. 48. 48. 48. I mean, I sincerely, sincerely hope that was a setup, but I fear it was not. Dear me. Now to this confused gal who thinks that men who are attracted to her are gay because she identifies as non binary. I'm non binary, so if you're a girl and you think I'm hot, you're gay. Um, if you're a guy and you think I'm hot, you're gay. Um, if you're non-binary and you think I'm hot, um, I've probably slept with one of your exes, I'm sorry. If I'm a girl and I think you're an idiot, what does that make me? Does that make me gay or straight? I don't know. The education system has failed that poor girl. Possibly her parents have failed her as well. Now, before I go, let's check in with a comic poking fun at Lefties Losing It. Here is Jake Tossel mocking the noble profession of journalism, woke journalism. I woke up, checked my privilege and then had breakfast where I found my journalism degree. Then I wrote articles why the suburb Manly's name is problematic and how cricket whites reinforce colonialism and white supremacy. For lunch, I had corn from a farmer's market and a hit of my vape. I then went to the park for a smoking ceremony. I spent the rest of my day on Twitter and Facebook abusing baby boomers with different opinions to me. Lastly, I called my capitalist pig dad to see if the beach house is free. I'm due for a sick day. Oh, so much material for comics who dare to go there. 